This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back. So guys, here in this session, we are going to learn enterprise structure. So we'll see what is this enterprise structure, what configurations we are going to do guys. And from this session onwards, the practical session is going to be started. So we'll see practically. So first of all, I'll explain theoretically what is this enterprise structure and then we'll uh, do the practical in the sense practically we are going to set up we are going to configure these things so now here let's have a look one by one so let me show you this ppt first so look at here guys if you talk about enterprise structure it is also called organization organizational structure okay now enterprise structure represents the business structure of a particular organization SAP enterprise structure is the initial steps of implementations and if you talk about like enterprise structure or organizational structure example then it is like company company code business area sales organizations purchase organizations plant profit center cost center so these all are like whatever example I have quoted it doesn't mean that this is from Pico only even from other module also I have added right so if you talk about enterprise structure guide that represents a business structure of particular organization right now if i ask what is your understanding about this to be honest guys i know that your understanding is zero only because this is what you are going to get if you are going to search on google such kind of definitions are there on google right simply in two line three line or else like everywhere whichever people are going to show the ppt and all everywhere some three four line definitions will be there and they are going to start the configurations so by this the understanding will be zero itself i'll just so i'll just do one thing guys again as usual i'll quote some example and then i'll try to make you people understand okay this is the first session guys might be there will be chances that bit confusion will be there but i'll tell you guys don't worry you just proceed further in the sequence which like the video sequence which I have given here as for that everything is going to be very nicely you guys are going to understand so don't worry okay now so let me quote an example here now let's assume that Tata Motor okay Tata Motor is having like first of all I'll show you some hierarchy here hierarchy in the sense like okay enterprise structure if you talk about <coughs> or organization structure look at here the hierarchy first of all like Tata group a group company of course it is because having multiple subsidiaries like Tata motor is there Tata steel is there uh, Tata chemical is there right Tata hotel group is there and multiple other subsidiaries are also there now uh, so we are going to do implementations right implementations if you guys are able to remember the previous session i told you that we are having four kind of projects so the first the first installation first time installations of sap in tata motor like multiple subsidiaries are there sorry tata group multiple subsidiaries are there so in tata motor we are going to start our implementations and later on tata steel onwards once it is going to be once we are going to do the same configurations and installations in Tata Steel, Tata Chemical, Tata Hotel Group, these all will be treated as a, a rollout project, right? Now here, so we are going to do implementations for Tata Motor first. So this is called implementation project. Now, so under Tata Group, we are having multiple subsidiaries. That is called Tata Motor, Tata Steel, Tata Hotel Group, Tata Chemical. Let's suppose like for example, I have quoted. Uh, if you are going to search on Google, you will be having multiple, uh, what is the subsidiaries are there. Now, further Tata Motor is having, it is segregated into different business segments. Let's suppose manufacturing and service. Okay. And if you talk about the manufacturing uh, units and also it is having multiple plants will be there, guys. Several plants will be there. Might be two, three, four, five. So now <laughs> this is these all things. First of all, Tata Group, Tata Motor, then under Tata Motor, we are having manufacturing, manufacturing area and service area. Under manufacturing, we are having different, different plants. So these things are going to be set up into SAP. These things are going to be configured into SAP. Why these configurations required, guys? I'll tell you. Because if you have to post the transactions before posting the transactions, let's suppose what for this 
configurations are going to happen guys what for this entire implementations are going to happen that is going to happen for tata motor employees right tata motor employees let's suppose earlier just assume that they were using registers and all now after this configurations after this uh, implementations what will happen these people will be able to use sap that is called a kind of it's an erp a software to post their transactions right so we'll do one thing let me draw a picture on this excel sheet and then i'll explain further So now here let's suppose now right now there is no any erp into tata motor they are using registers only to make you understand guys just assume here right of course uh, nowadays every organizations are having erps and all but just assume that tata motor before this sap they were not having any erp simply they used to maintain the registers so if they maintain the registers and all guys multiple different different kind of registers will be there right why these segregations are required guys why these segregations are required why not to record all the sales related transactions purchase related transactions cash related transactions uh, in a single register itself so the first thing is like if the all transactions are going to be recorded in the single registers it's very difficult to segregate the transactions because it's not only it's not like uh, only uh, you know recording all the transaction guys even reportings are also required right as an individual what is happening if our expenditures our income if you if, if you guys are going to record you will be having sing, single registers where you are going to note down your daily expenditures and income on daily basis and all because very small limited number of transactions we are doing on daily basis isn't it so it's possible but what about a huge setup a huge organizations like tata motor or likewise other organizations are there so it is not possible to maintain all the transactions in a single registers so say for example uh, since i have quoted the example of sales uh, what to say department earlier in my uh, what to say introduction session and all so here also i am just quoting an example of sales department itself so let's suppose sales register if you talk about like sales related transactions where it is going to be just registered in sales register uh, where where they are going to record it in sales registers so how the employees are going to find out so different different registers will be there right so and on that even the registers will be having name also this is how they are going to identify right so let's suppose this is a uh, sales register and that is for which subsidiary tata motor tata steel so it is written on the first page itself tata motor you can write a uh, of tata group i'm writing in shortcut okay and then here okay so tata motor a subsidiary of tata group let's suppose it is written on the first page itself now under tata motor okay this is a sales register or purchase register or petty cash register how employee will segregate so of course the register name also will be written let's suppose it is sales register right now so this is sales register people will come to know that this is sales register now this sales register so again since if you talk about the sales right sales means like revenue is getting generated so now tata motor entire sales are going to be segregated in two part or revenue based on this like whatever the sales revenues are getting generated 
this is getting generated from their manufacturing unit also and even they are having service unit also in the sense like service centers are also there right so from service center also let's suppose the vehicles are getting sold and after some time let's suppose once they visit their nearest service centers and all for the servicing from there also revenues are getting generated so how much if they have to find out how much they have generated revenue from the manufacturing unit and how much they have generated this revenue from service unit then how they will come to know so again this sales register further it is going to be segregated in two part guys right try to understand so sales register is going to be further segregated in two part like for manufacturing for manufacturing unit okay and then we'll be having with, uh, what is a service unit also right the same i'm going to copy and paste here also okay so this is for service unit let's suppose this is for service unit this is manufacturing unit and this is service unit right now so again the next question is the next question is again like while posting a transactions okay if, if let's suppose sales uh, revenue related transactions sales related transactions are getting posted first question is this transaction is belongs to like which subsidiary so it is for tata motor so tata motor register let's suppose will be there now in that like uh this is sales related so sales register is going to be taken by uh, the let's suppose users in the sense employees and in sales register also like they're segregated in two part like sales from uh, manufacturing unit or like revenue from manufacturing unit or revenue from service unit right so for that also two different registers are there again next question will be this transactions belongs to which period in the sense from which month right so this period is also going to be specified right period wise register will be there guys right isn't it now then after what will happen then the next thing is after that the next thing is from which year so the year is also let's suppose going to be specified the year is also going to be specified whatever year is there that is going to be there on this financial year i'm talking about guys right so a financial year is going to be specified now so this is how what will happen this is how like people will be able to find out the sales registers purchase registers like if any transactions are going to be posted certain certain uh, what to say uh, questions will be there this transactions first of all this is uh, for which subsidiary right this is for tata motor tata steel right second thing uh, which kind of what is the nature of these transactions like sales related transactions or purchase related transactions or like even petty gas there will be a separate transaction guys all the cash related transactions are going to be recorded in petty cash registers right so this is also the question so let's suppose this is related to sales again sales is like the sales related transactions so sales from which you need manufacturing or service service unit right and again the next question is this this transactions belongs to which period which month july june august september right which financial year so this is how so they are going to find out based on these questions they are going to find out the appropriate register and in that the transaction is going to be recorded so if you talk about the reporting 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 means management is always interest interested for reports only guys so if management says that i need report for the like overall sales revenue okay sales revenue so they will ask at micro level also and macro level also uh, i'll specify that I'll, I'll just simplify this now they will ask like at group level also let's suppose a report can be like if you talk about the entire sales revenue and all it can be like what is the total revenue at tata group level so tata group level means all the subsidiaries right first of all if you talk about like okay uh, so tata group level so it means revenue belongs to tata steel tata motor tata hotel group and tata chemical all together is going to be added then only it is going to be calculated at group level right now subsidiary level in the sense tata motor level so tata motor level if it is required then what is happening guys this this manufacturing unit and service unit both are going to be added 
say for example from this one 100 million rupees or dollar is the let's suppose the revenue got generated okay now this is let's suppose here around the 25 million dollar revenue right so if if there is a requirement from management that okay for this particular for july this is from july let's suppose so okay let's suppose uh this is for july august and september so here let's suppose there is a revenue right from this one it is like let's suppose 20 million and here again like 30 million dollars isn't it so now let's suppose uh, how the reports are going to be prepared guys since they are maintaining all the transactions manually here in the registers so even report preparation is also going to happen manually itself right so for every every month let's suppose different different registers are getting maintained so let's suppose in july month how much revenue 100 million from manufacturing unit and 100 million for this uh, what to say uh, sorry 25 million uh, dollar from this service unit right now and again likewise for august and september different different revenues are there so if the management is saying that okay what is the total revenue what is the total revenue uh, generated from manufacturing unit in the month of july then what is happening so july month register is going to be taken by uh, the users in the sense employee of this finance and account department whoever is responsible for this report preparation is going to take the register of this july month and then what is happening guys then he is going to calculate like total what is the total revenue in the sense what are the total sales has taken place in that particular month is going to be calculated and then he is going to uh, present the report that yes this is what this 100 million dollar worth of sales has been we have generated like whatever the revenue got generated in this particular month right from manufacturing units so this register got uh, what to say selected now if if like the same requirement is like okay what is the total revenue got generated from service unit for july month then again same calculation is going to happen for this a different register is maintained being maintained so from that register the entire sales are going to be counted and it is calculated and then finally report will be prepared if somebody says like what is the sales revenue generated at tata motor level tata motor level means and that to july it means this manufacturing plus manufacturing i'll just do one thing guys i'll make it like this manufacturing okay now so manufacturing plus service manufacturing plus service right so july month right likewise if somebody says that what is the total revenue in august so this is what and again the august month register is going to be like in august month also register is going to be maintained for manufacturing unit also and service unit also separately so again from august month register they are going to count the total revenue right and what is the total revenue in uh, what to say august month at tata motor subsidy level then this one plus this one this is a very basic i'll tell you guys this is a basic what to say mathematical calculations here i'm showing right nothing it has it has nothing to do with the accounting right now isn't it and my entire because i'll tell you uh, there are multiple uh, candidates even though you're from bcom like or finance background still if you talk about the accounting uh, things and all then lots of concepts you've forgotten right so here the if you talk about like sap fico fico doesn't mean that like people say sap finance module finance doesn't mean that you need to have a very good understanding of what you say accounting generally you can become a consultant i'll tell you guys to be honest even there are multiple btech candidate also 
from technical background they are also working as a finance consultant because they are having perfect knowledge and that to entire whatever topics like they know they know all the logics and also try to understand the logic guys don't go for blind configurations if you know all the configuration steps and that to like uh, you mugged up all the configuration steps and all still it is impossible to crack the interview and it is impossible to become a consultant if you don't know the logic so always run behind logic not behind the configurations i know this configurations i know this configurations but i'll tell you guys honestly you know nothing right because configurations means you know how to do but if you don't know why to do then uh, it's it's very difficult to become a consultant now anyway we'll back we'll be back on this uh explanations once again so here we are talking about so this is how so now if for july month if they want like at tata motor level here i'll just make like this okay i'll make like this this is for okay so this is for tata motor right okay so now look at here tata motor means what this one plus this one this one plus this one right so this is plus this is service plus manufacturing right so now why what is the need of segregating this like at uh, uh, manufacturing unit level and service unit level because because like if, if micro level in the sense if there is a requirement that okay for manufacturing unit how much revenue and service unit how much re revenue so this is possible only if two different if two different registers are there right if two different registers are there then only it is possible guys or else it is going to be very difficult to count uh, register what to say transaction wise one by one if you have to identify which uh, what to say transactions belongs to manufacturing which transaction belongs to service unit that is very difficult so that is why they are going to maintain two different registers so likewise if they have to so for july month like if they want to calculate for tata motor level then service plus manufacturing again for august also service plus manufacturing and september also service plus manufacturing now if they want to know, know like for manufacturing unit uh, in second quarter how much total revenue so these all three these all three let's suppose it is going to be how much so it's it's 300 300 million dollars right and likewise for this one how much it is so 75 million dollar right and if they want like for both if it tata motor level how much then this one and plus this one this is how they are going to calculate this uh, what to say revenues and all so but here the if you talk about the revenue calculation guys uh, manually everything is happening now they have decided to switch on erp in the sense they have decided that okay we are going to use one erp so if they are going to use the erp then in erp also the same activities are going to be performed erp means software right so even in erp also same activities are going to be performed guys all the transactions whichever let's suppose i have quoted example of sales so sales related transactions are going to be posted in sales registers earlier right now the same sales related transactions are going to be posted into sap right now okay it means physical registers are going to be converted into digital registers so if if the same transaction is going to be posted in sap then what will happen again the same question will be there this transaction belongs to which subsidiary so the answer is tata motor right so this tata motor must be set up tata motor must be set up into sap right okay that is going to be set up into sap now again under tata motor like here i'll write down so under tata motor this is going to be set up right okay and this tata motor is subsidiary of what it is subsidiary of tata group so tata group is also going to be set up then only like you have to get the report consolidated report at group level you have to get uh, the consolidated console, you have to get the report at what to say uh, this uh, subsidiary level right again you have to see the report at manufacturing unit and service unit level also right you can again further like in manufacturing unit we are having multiple plants so plant level also you if you want to see the report so this is how like 
what do you say requirements will be there from organizations right so now here tata motor first of all this is going to be set up into sap system uh, this tata group is also going to be set up into sap system how that i'm going to show you now apart from this like if you talk about manufacturing unit service unit that is also going to be set up into because uh, this if you talk about this period july june august september this is also supposed to be there into sap system right if you talk about this financial year this is also supposed to be set up into a system because if you post a transaction there will be multiple questions like this projections belongs to which subsidiary tata motor tata steel right so now here like are you going to what to say write down the uh, things and all no it is not simply tata motor tata steel these all things will be set up into sap simply you need to select it while posting the transaction whether it is i'll show you guys once i'm going to explain in details okay don't worry with the like quoting all the examples so that you guys will be able to understand perfectly okay so now this is supposed to be set up into sap this is one time setup once we have set up once we have configured this tata motor tata steel uh, this manufacturing unit service unit like periods in the sense june july august september so once you have set up into sap this is one time setup after that lifelong these things are going to be used by users of tata motor they will simply post the transactions once they are going to post the transactions the question is this transaction belongs to what this belongs to tata motor right this transaction belongs to uh, uh in tata motor like from manufacturing unit or service unit right again this belongs to which period for from june month july month right august september and that to which financial year right again if you talk about the financial year again separate configuration is there for that guys i'm going to explain in details so that you guys will be having perfect understanding financial year also whether it is calendar year or non-calendar year if it is a calendar year then the calculation is quite easy if it is non-calendar year then what will happen there will be some challenges non-calendar year means if you are going to give a particular date let's suppose 0 01 05 01 or let's suppose 04 okay here a particular year let's suppose we have given I have given a particular year also. Okay, so I think having some cold guys, so might be the voice will be having some. Okay. So here, let's suppose this is the date. Now, if you are going to, so here, if you post a transaction, if you give this date, so this is the date 01 and this is the month 04, right? So if it is calendar year, then this is fourth month. And if it is non-calendar year, then this could be a different period. Month in the month equals to period only, guys. Right? Whether you say first month, second month, third month, or else like you say first period, second period, third period, both are same. In SAP language, we are going to call it as a period. Okay. First period, second period, third period. Okay. So now this is fourth period as per calendar year. And if it is non calendar year non calendar year in that case what is happening guys it is going to be a different period okay as per calendar year this is fourth period and non calendar year say for example if we are going to follow april to march so this is going to be first period okay in details i'll give a very exclusive example with all this configuration steps that i'll explain you guys in the upcoming video don't worry about this one so now these all things are going to be set up into sap this is called configurations okay so the first configurations which is going to be started in sap is called enterprise structure first of all you have to set up this enterprise structure if you post a transactions this transaction is going to be posted for which subsidiary this transaction is going to be posted for like uh, this belongs to tata motor or tata steel right whether this belongs to manufacturing unit or service unit whether this belongs to June period or July period in the sense fourth period, fifth period, sixth period, seventh period, whether this belongs to uh, like which which financial year it belongs to, right? So these all things are going to be set up. So now this Tata Motor, right? Tata Group, this manufacturing unit, service unit, these all are called the enterprise structure. These are the part of enterprise structure. Now, if you talk about this July, this is called posting period. If you talk about this 
2000 something like whatever the year is there that is called financial year or fiscal year these are the part of basic settings right so people says enterprise structure and basic setting whichever module configurations are going to be started guys this is going to be started from enterprise structure like for uh, finance side let's suppose we are having company you have to set up company company code business area like that what is called this company guys company means company represents if you talk about like tata group right tata group let's suppose tata group okay i'm typing in, i'm writing in shortcut so this is going to be set up into sap this is called group company right so this is going to be called in sap language it is called company okay group company is nothing but company and under tata group we are having like tata motor we are having tata steel we are having tata chemical so these are going to be set up into sap this is called what this is called company code okay i'm typing again in shortcut itself okay this is called company code these all tata motor tata steel tata chemical this is called company code so company equals to what guys company is nothing but group company and company code is what whatever subsidiaries are there right so creation of company creation of and, and again in tata motor like we are having like two different kind of businesses are there like let's suppose manufacturing unit and service unit so that is again going to be set up as a business area that is going to be set up as a business area so now if you talk about like creation of group company this is not a mandatory configurations because let's suppose there is an organizations which is not having any other subsidiary it's only one so this is this cannot be told as a, we, we can't say that this is a group company right group company means what guys more than one subsidiary at least two subsidiaries are there then we can say that okay this is group company okay this is a group company so if, if let's suppose one particular organization is there which is having only one unit itself is there right so that is single organizations right so we only company code is going to be set up guys company is not required because company represents group company right this logic i'll tell you because this is the first session itself guys and in a single session it is not possible to explain each and everything there are lots of things to explain but that will be explained one by one and that is why i said that uh, don't worry at least like watch this uh, what is it this is the first uh, practical session right in the sense like uh, here first of all theoretically i'm going to explain and again in next session practically i'm going to show you how to set up the company and company code uh, so that easily you guys will be able to configure the way i'm going to configure you can also configure now so here group company represents this is called in sap language it is called company and whatever subsidiaries are there under one particular un, under particular group company this is going to be set up into sap as a company code so company code equals to what guys subsidiary and company equals to group company okay so first of all i said that this is the hierarchy okay first of all tata group right under tata group we are having multiple subsidiary so now we are going to do implementations for tata motor so this tata motor also we have to set up under tata motor it is going to be segregated into like business unit like manufacturing and service units are there that is going to be set up as a business area then we are having plants under manufacturing we are having multiple plants plant is not like setting up plant is not our responsibility guys that is going to be set up by whom again mm people will be there so those people are going to set up this plant and all okay so that is going to be set up by mm people okay so now uh here so we'll do one thing now we'll see the configurations i'll show you guys how we are going to configure this all things in the sense like company company code business area and all how it is going to be configured it's pretty easy i'll show you practically so in next session i'm going to show you how it is going to be configured okay so here theoretically i simply explained this enterprise structure guys and now practically i'm going to show you how we are going to set up this company company code and uh, whatever this manufacturing unit or service unit is there and later again you will be having better understanding only once we started like once we post certain transactions but before posting transactions multiple other configurations also will be there that is why i said that uh, 
in a single session not possible to explain each and everything okay so now uh, in next session i am going to do the configurations and again for the configurations basic setting will be there also in next to next session and all one by one step by step we are going to perform so that's all in this session guys that's all in this session and uh, so in next session i am explaining the practical part in the sense how to set up these things okay so that's all in this session